without a doubt, uh, climate change is the most significant problem facing our practices in the coming century. Uh, it affects everything starting from where we are as designers all the way up to governance, to economic practices, to manufacture, to logistical concerns. I think how practices uh, absorb and reformulate uh, the way things are done relative to our changing circumstances will probably be the most profound acts of the 21st century. My name is David Rue. I'm the chair of the postgraduate programs here at SciArc. We decided to uh, start a program of study in landscape architecture. Uh, but we wanted to address what seems to be missing currently in the current academic program studying landscape. The primary thing that we want to consider in the program is how nature alone cannot be the exclusive focus, even though nature is uh, in our time perhaps one of the most important things to consider. And so we wanted to see if we could explore perhaps a new conceptual agenda for the design of landscapes that could consider how both the natural and the artificial can collaborate. Joining us in the program will be Timothy Morton, who is perhaps uh, the most renowned philosopher of problems of the environment uh, in the world today. Timothy has done seminal work in texts such as Dark Ecology or the aptly titled Ecology Without Nature, where he has written at times controversially about what the meaning of nature is, is having unrecognized effects on how we deal with environmental practice today. Also joining us in the program will be Helen Kongsgaard, who is a landscape architect. She has a focus on arid landscapes and and this is a program, after all, that will be located in Los Angeles, which is perhaps one of the most synthetic environments in the world. And we ourselves have many local concerns with fires, for example, or droughts and infrastructure and renewable energy, problems that are met by practices that are becoming somewhat hybrid in whether or not we can recognize it as architectural practices or landscape practices. Ultimately, these are environmental practices that are shaping an ever more synthetic world. And this, I think, demands a new type of program that can look at what is actually happening today with an expansive eye and also with an eye towards uh, pragmatic modes of uh, how we approach specific problems to map out how we might be practicing in new ways in the 21st century. All of our programs at SciArc Edge are Masters of Science degrees. They begin in the fall and it's a continuous three semester sequence terminating in the summer. For landscape design, I think uh, for the most part we're looking for students that are already coming to us with an architecture degree or with a degree in landscape architecture, but we are also interested in applicants that might be coming from adjacent fields in art practices, from public policy or ecological studies that would like greater exposure to a pragmatic dimension in design. As is true with all the design fields, the various industries and what we might call a career is constantly expanding. And this is a general uh, ethic of all the postgraduate programs at SciArc Edge. What it means to be a designer or an architect, I think, is becoming more ambiguous for good reasons because it's expanding into new territories. Graduates from this particular program in synthetic landscapes, I think, can go on to work at landscape architect offices, or they might go work at a large architectural corporate practice doing large-scale urban design around the world, or students might graduate and enter into public policy and work for government agencies. Students can graduate from synthetic landscapes and enter into a focused academic practice, pursuing PhDs 
or developing uh, research practices. What we want to do uh, in general today is to bring a new kind of imagination to our built environment. Why can't we have a completely new type of experience when it comes to an experience of the landscape? Even a drive on the highway, looking at the synthetic environments all around us, have pleasure associated with it that are largely accidental and not designed. I think it's a premise of the program that all of this is designed and that all of it can be designed on purpose and that we could have a wider bandwidth and spectrum of what constitutes experience in our landscapes in the 21st century.